Hi everyone, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. If you're new here, we do lots of thrifting, DIYs, repurposing, upcycling, and we love new crafting friends. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. Um, this is my second video that I've done on trash to treasure and what I've made for the week. The one I put up last week did really well and I had lots of messages saying they enjoyed that kind of format of a video. So here we are doing another weekly wrap up. Before I get started though, I wanted to thank you guys for 10,000 followers. The beginning of this week, I had 10,000 followers on my YouTube channel here and I appreciate every one of you for your likes and your comments and your shares. It means so much to me. I love sharing my DIY content and helping out crafters maybe find an easier way to do something and just sharing my projects and I appreciate every one of you. So thank you so much and um, I hope I can continue to keep bringing good content for you that you enjoy every week. Okay, let's get started. I live in Ontario, Canada, and right now we are on uh, complete lockdown. There's no shopping, we're at a stay at home order. So I have had to be really creative with my DIYs. I've had to just use what I've had in my shed kind of piled up, which if you're a true DIYer, you all have that little corner where you've set stuff for sometimes maybe even years and you haven't gotten to it. Well, I have been forced to use up those piles and this was one of those weeks. I went through a lot of my salvaged wood and pieces of um, barn board that I've had for quite a while and I used them up. So this week, all the projects that I did really depleted my um, pile by a lot. But I made some really cool stuff, a lot of really primitive farmhouse stuff. So I'm going to show you what I made. So the first thing that I had was I had a clay pot laying around for forever. I painted it in my homemade chalk paint and then I added a graphic from the fairy, uh, the graphic fairy. If you um, have never been to her site, you need to check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description. She has so many amazing um, free graphics that you can use for any kind of project. So that's what I did with this pot. And I also sealed this with an outdoor poly acrylic so it can be set out on my deck if um, I want to use it for that. And another thing that I did, I love when I'm out thrifting, collecting wooden candlesticks and wooden bowls and then making nice little decor pieces that you can put maybe jewelry, um, fruit, any sort of thing into it. And I decided to leave the base of the candlestick the color that it was because I love this wooden color. And then I took the bowl, painted it with my homemade chalk paint and then distressed it and sealed it. And I think that turned out really cute. And I made another one also with a candlestick holder and a wooden bowl. This was a project that I did a while back, but I decided that I didn't like the color of the frame. It was a brown, I didn't paint the frame of it, so I decided this week to give it um, a paint job around the frame, homemade chalk paint, and then I just distressed it. And with this process, this is um, decoupage with a napkin, and then I did my reverse transfer method in the middle, and it made a beautiful sign. This I bought at a thrift store, and it was a canvas and somebody had done a, a painting on it and it wasn't all that pretty. So I just painted the chalk paint over top of it and then did my own picture. And if you saw my video from last week, you know that I love to make um, cutting boards out of scrap wood. And I had two really big pieces of wood this week that I made a bunch of cutting boards out of. I did a whole bunch in the natural wood and I like just to put a little bit of burlap around the top and a little piece of plastic greenery. And they're just for decor, but they look really nice hung in the kitchen. And I had enough out of one board to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Um, and they sell really, really well at uh, all of my platforms. And I also had some bigger ones that I did on another piece of wood. And it was, I didn't like the grain in the wood, the natural wood of this one. So I painted it with my crackle paint technique. And I'll put a link up below, uh, down below in the description and up here in my cards if you want to learn how to do this technique because it's really easy and it makes a piece of new wood look really nice and old. So I did a bunch of these up too, kind of random sizes, a little bit bigger. And again, they're really nice to hang up in the kitchen. And this one I love. It's a bigger one. 
same process, but I found this little, I think it's a little drawer, maybe out of a, um, a sewing drawer out of a sewing machine cabinet and I kind of hang it was again in my pile in my wood pile it's been there for ages and I thought that would look really nice kind of just nailed onto this cutting board so that's what I did with this one and you could put little faux plants in it or little knickknacks that you have and it would look really nice hanging up at our local dump, we're allowed to take wood out of the wood pile, and that's where I find almost all of my wood for my projects, which is really nice with the cost of lumber right now. But I actually found this wooden shelf in the wood pile last week, and I painted it with my homemade chalk paint, put a really nice graphic on it, and uh, I think it turned out really nice, and it's pretty good for being free. Also, out of the wood pile, I was able to find these two picture frames, the glass was broken in them all. I really like them. I haven't cleaned them up right yet, but I like to clean them up. And then sometimes I just hang them on the wall just as is. They make really nice uh, wall decor. Or you can put little um, signs in each one or photos and that looks really nice. So I got the smaller one and the bigger one. My signs are really popular. I do a lot of barn board signs. And this week I did a few. Um, the ones with my heaven quotes on them or someone that's lost a loved one, they always do really well. So these two, whoops, this one's upside down. I did these two just on scrap pieces of, of lumber, paint them up with my homemade chalk paint and distress them. And another one with the same quote on a smaller piece. And these are always a really good seller with these funny little quotes on them. And sometimes I like to make little hangers instead of putting um, little uh, hangers on the back. I'll just use a little bit of jute and drill a hole in each side and hang them up like that. And these are really popular too. And I made a couple of these. And again, another one with a little hanger and another one. And I just put little clips on the back of them for people to hang up on their walls. And I always find those on eBay really cheap. And I had some scrap wood that I did a couple layers of paint on and I used my candle wax technique to make it make uh, it look a little bit more uh, rustic. And I made this antique sign. This one I did with a yellow and then I layered a red candle wax, put on my chalk paint and then sanded it all down and you're left with a really rustic piece of wood. Rustic looking from a brand new piece of wood. And again, the same technique. Pass the wine. And rise and shine, it's coffee time. And all these graphics are available in my Etsy store if you want to purchase them. And all of these signs I've made with my reverse graphic transfer method with Mod Podge. Um, I have a full tutorial on how to do that. I'll put a link up above here and down below in the description because it's really easy and you don't need a Cricut and you don't need a stencil to make all of these signs. Okay, now here comes my really fun project. I had all kinds of lumber that I cut into arrows and did a lot of distressing paint on them and I have all kinds of wood salvaged, uh, salvaged wood baseboard chippy paint that I save and I kind of put in a pile waiting for a project and I thought that would look really nice just mount it on these arrows um, to hang up in your home. So this one is actually an old piece, uh, a piece of barn board that I cut into an arrow, an old piece of baseboard, and the chippiness on it is wonderful, and an, a spindle from a chair. And I just think it looks really great. So I made a whole bunch of those and I used up a whole bunch of paint that I had laying around. And this piece of wood, I don't know what it was for, it was aged so neat and right full of holes. And I thought that looked really nice on this arrow. Another one where I used up two spindles. Another one with that piece of baseboard and the spindle. And they just layer so beautifully. It's amazing what you can do with what you just think is just junk laying around and put it together. And then some more of that piece of wood that I had with the holes in it. And the last one is this one. And again, with this technique, I just layered with the candle wax, uh, the different colors of paint, and that's the effect you get. And it's fabulous. 
and because I don't waste anything, all the ends that I cut off of my breadboards made this fabulous cut of wood. And I added graphics from the, again, the Graphic Fairy and made some really neat vintage looking signs. I love this graphic too. And these are cut from the top of the um, cutting boards. And I love that little feature that it leaves at the top. And my little antique sign. Okay, that wraps up everything that I did this week. I was busy and I have been dwindling down my pile of stuff that I have when I haven't been able to shop or thrift, which is fantastic because I love using up all these pieces that I've saved over the years. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again in the next one. Thanks guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.